All right, guys, so we are going to explore letsrecap.com today. So first thing I need to do is sign up. I am a teacher. Got to fill in all my information here. Okay, and it is going to go through everything that a recap is and why it is fantastic. It works on any device. That's why I think it's fantastic. It works on Androids, Apples, and desktops. So you can really, and the laptops. The laptops is what you would want to use in your classroom because they have a camera. But the kids bringing their own devices, it's going to work on any of their Android devices, so it doesn't matter that they don't have an Apple. The desktops will need a webcam, which we don't have available to us at this point in time, so not the desktops. Okay, so they the responses, this is another thing that I really like about it, the responses are rolled into a daily review reel. So you can just sit there and watch student after student after student. You don't have to click on each individual student, which can become time consuming. Especially if you split classes and you see 40 kids a day for science. Okay, so hello, welcome. I'm done. Um, I'm going to add a class. Now, this is a downfall. You can't just roll everything in automatically. You're going to have to type them in. But let's get started on me. So I have Ames class today, so that's where I'm going to start. How should your students log in? I want them to use the class pin because then I don't have to worry about email addresses. And literally, you have to add student by student. So I am going to add student. Take another name off my grade sheet. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Type them over here. Add student. Okay. Okay, so I have put all of my students from Miss Ames class in. So I'm going to click on the green add class. And it's going to generate for me. So here's my kids. If I click up here for the class pin, this is how, this is the website that I would save for them. I'm going to be putting this in Angel so you can all just use the same website. You won't have to worry about it. But this is the class pin. So I would make a poster. If it was my classroom and I only had one, I'm going to have multiple. So I'm probably going to write it on the board for each class. But you can just write it on the board. You can make a poster. This is your class pin. Okay, so this is what the teacher sees, and this is what a student would see. Now, this is an Android device, so if it doesn't look exactly the same on your Apple device, that's why. So recap, this is the app. And I'm signed in as a student already. Okay, so you saw that it saved the last class that I was in. So when your kids start using this regularly, if they're in your classroom all day and they don't switch, they should be logged in automatically. It saves. But I'm going to go to class, class pin because I'm in a new class. And my class pin was W. T F O C W. These are all letters. So I'm going to sign in. Okay, so now I'm in Miss Ames class. It says it right at the top. So if I don't see Miss Ames, I didn't type that in right. So you want to teach the kids to double check. My goodness, I'm getting tons of notifications today. Okay, so I find my name. And I click on it. 
So right now, I don't have any recaps to do because I skipped a step. So sorry. I have to add a recap in the teachers section. So add a recap. Add the title. So uh, this is going to be MS Excel because that's what we are working on. And I'm going to ask them, what did you learn about MS Excel? You can ask a broad question, easy peasy. You can make it more direct. Maybe you want more details. So we are going to go back. Next. Okay, I want the whole class to have this. You can select more classes. So if you, if I teach the whole grade, so I could go ahead and select Miss West, Miss W, everybody's class. Max recording time per question, 30 seconds. First, you want to make sure that the kids know it's going to cut them off at 30 seconds. So they can't just ramble on and they want to have a plan of what they're going to say before they start recording. So you can change this to 60 seconds, 2 minutes is the max, 15 seconds is the least. But the great thing about this is, is it keeps them from spending too much time here. And then we can change the due date. I'm going to make it due. March 3rd. Okay. Include assess yourself. Sure. Let's. So they are going to, at the end, it's going to ask them if they got it, partially got it, or didn't get it at the end or the beginning. Well, let's find out. Press send. So this is sending it to the class. I'm going to see my activity over here, and this is the daily review reel. It takes a second to load, so it won't be instantaneous. Okay, so let's go back in. Here is my question. So I'm going to click on this, and then I need to turn my screen. What did you learn about MS Excel? And I want to respond. All they have to do is click this record button. Three, two, one, counts them down. And now it's red, so it's recording. So I can say, I learned that you use Microsoft Excel to organize data and create charts so that you can easily read the data that you've collected. I didn't need all my time, so I'm going to press stop. Red, so I can rewatch it. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to press next. Okay, so now it says, did I get this lesson? Partially got it, didn't get it. I got this, I'm amazing. So I am done. And it should reveal itself over here in a second, but these are videos. So it's gonna take a second, it's still processing here. So you'll see on my device, it finally processed, and I can see a little screen capture of my video that I recorded. And then over here on my teacher page, you can see that she got it. Only one out of the 21 students have completed it. My daily reel still isn't ready yet. That's fine. But it's got all of my information. It's got a little screen capture down here that I can steal of this student. And that's recap. So I just learned how to use this myself, but I am more than happy to help you with anything you need. It's pretty easy. So I'm sure we can figure it out together. And let me know. I'll even set up your class for you if you're willing to give it a whirl.